Hi, hi. After a long time, after way, way, way too long, uh, we're playing more Hypnospace Outlaw. If you don't recall, this is that weird little game where uh, I'm a content monitor on the Hypnospace, which is an internet you use while you're asleep. Uh, I have to look for illegal and rule infringing content and deliver my mighty takedown requests. For this, I am rewarded with Hypnocoin. Uh, which I am going to spend on various things. If there is a greater purpose to this game, if there is uh, some vaster, more lore-filled plot that we are going to stumble upon, we will stumble upon it and shock together. Until then, I'm just going to have fun remembering how to play this and, uh, and doing some takedowns. Okay, so... These are all the different websites we can go to, of course. I want to look at my tasks, I guess. Download manager, settings, tune box. Oh, this is where I can play my MP3s and stuff, right? right. So, you know, that was my virus, my antivirus that I had to buy uh, pretty pathetically. Kappa cash. Oh, that's my download manager. Where's my email? Oh man, I, I feel like such a boomer. Can't even remember how to get to my email. The tutorial. Are we really going to go back in the tutorial to find my email? It's not in here, is it? Mm, app menu? No. I want to find my... No. I want to find my email. So I can remember what task I have right now. Is that too much to ask? Here's sticky notes. Tune box. No space explorer. Settings? No, it's just this. Am I this much of a fool? We're going back into the tutorial. Patrol department enforcer training. There must be some lesson about email. This this feels authentic though. Thank you for the HSPD this, this is a... dashboard is a special secure program. Oh, that oh I'm an idiot. I thought this was like underneath the launcher or something. Like I thought it had something specifically to do. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. So, what is our current case? We close that case. Are we? Are we? Um, right. Clean up every anything you can find. We won't be sending cases or reports in advance. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. Um, so this is, I guess, what we're doing now. And we have done this. This was the case uh, we saw here. Okay, all right, okay. So we're just out for anything. We're just out to clean in general is what's going on right now. Okay. All right. All right. I I had totally forgot. Oh my gosh. There, I could have just found it here too. All right. You know what I'm feeling like? Some cool punk paradise. Hmm. Cool punk is dead. Cool punk is alive and well. But which one has been bumped more recently? Unfortunately, this really seems to suggest that uh, cool punk is dead. Capitalism killed it. Ooh, Shay Nolan. You, uh, you know what's going on. You, you woke to the truth. It's time we move on. Freezer's horrified face after hundreds of people could see him lip syncing his own song at Coolfest. Click to download the video clip. I mean, it's probably click to download a virus, but whatever. Oh, what happened? Cool Punk Paradise. I remember reading about that concert. That was supposed to be a legendary cool punk oasis of, of authentic musicians in the sea of corporate trash. Both cool and punk. Mm, it's a brand. Hmm. Okay, this is quite interesting. That, that even if <clears throat> the web space provided to them 
has been marred by the corporate trash. Even if uh, it was never really cool or punk to begin with. To, to give up on it entirely symbolically. To say that its real world value has been lost simply because its symbolic value has been tarnished is to uh, really give in to the oppressor. I, I've read this a lot in, in uh, some radical leftist books about, you know, there, there should be no dignity of being above using the weapons of the enemy. You know, uh, all things are on the table if it's in the service of the... I think in the book I was reading is the anarchistic movement. I think this was in the TAZ. Stuff was espoused like this. Search this tag to be part of something new. The fungus scene. This is what is replacing cool punk, I suppose. Fungus scene manifesto. Mmm. Music is always free. We also have an F list slash F list. Fungus music. Fungus scene. Is this what fungus core is like? Because I'm into it. I'm into the fungus scene. Alright, Father Fungus. What do you think Haze is? Oh, that's just the tag. A lot of things are tagged with Haze. Goodness. Okay, so... I feel like this isn't the direction we want to go to find illegal content. It's fascinating. But, uh... I need to make some... Some HypnoCoin, you know what I'm saying? You think I'm just browsing the web all day for free? No, anyone who does that is a sucker. You should be getting paid to Reddit. You should be getting paid to go on 4chan. Right? <laughs> I'm not the only one, right? Okay. Um, maybe let's check here. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like, you know, things like this aren't going to change too much. The band's promo page. Don't bother, there's nothing on this page. Um, well... Oh. Alright. Well, that was easy. It's the dumpster. Thank you to the dumpster. Uh, we are going to be taking you down for trolling. No, just kidding. Should review these, those. These, these laws. Contract infringement. Pretty clear. Harassment. Sure. Makes sense. Uh, sure. Right, right. Um, okay. Let's get back at it. Not really sure where we should be looking yet. Hmm. Still really tired, but it's worth it to be with you all. Gary Space Time, slap it up! Oh, hell yeah, we're gonna slap it up. Slap it up, my boy Jazz Wilson. Uh, what I'm thinking is, um... Hmm... I was thinking maybe this guy would link software, and perhaps inadvertently would be linking some malicious software. So I thought it might be a good place to check. Hmm, but it looks like this guy's on the up and up. I'm falling asleep all over again because it's so smooth. <laughs> hmm. Nice. This is quite mysterious. Janitor. I see this card easy hypno coin, but I deleted it because I don't want to implicate myself in crimes. So do you think we should maybe do a search for this janitor? Do you think anyone would tag their page with the janitor if they were just going to be distributing some quasi-legal game? Hmm. All right, nice. Yeah, this, this guy's great. Oh, I opened my history. How did I open my history? Oh, by hitting search? I guess, yeah. Mmm, mm-hmm. All right, yeah, yeah. Virtual pets. Ah, Dylan, oh, so that was uh, on the main page, it was like, Dylan Merchant's page. Yes, that Dylan Merchant. I was like, who's Dylan Merchant? But of course, it's Merchant Soft. It's that Merchant. Keep flying hamster pet with angel wings. Aww, I want to get April. 
Yeah, how do we find April? Ah, Professor Helper, of course, we downloaded that. That was quite awful. Hmm. What should we look into? I think we're gonna try uh, seeing what's up with this janitor. See if anybody's tagging their pages with it. Janitor Accountant Fun by this mysterious citizen. Welcome to your job, janitor. Janitor accounting software, you agree to the terms at the bottom of this page. This sounds very, very, very suspicious. Hmm. This account, of course, looks so suspicious. These tags look hella suspicious. I think we can start swinging our hammer mightily on this page. Even this might be a violation. The fact that they're not playing any music, come on. You know it's a bot. All but robot love music. Okay, I'm thinking we're gonna strike this down. The piles of five documents by dragging documents from the other. Complete a pile in the incinerator to make big uh, hypno coin. Only if you deem it necessary for your job. The infected files in incinerator immediately. What? So, uh, this is obviously some sort of scam. Mm hmm. Uh, accounting services. But, like, what is it actually? Like, is this actually something that we can do as well? You know, last time I thought it would be fun to, like, install some viruses and stuff, or at least in retrospect, that's how I hope it went down and that I didn't actually get tricked into downloading malware. And I thought it would be interesting and fun to see how a virus impacts your ability to play this game, but it turns out it is in very negative, annoying ways, and I don't want the screen to go all whooshy like that again. So... I think we'll just strike this. I don't think we're gonna... we're gonna download it at all. Yeah, what do you think of this? Yeah, yeah, alright, sweet. Um, is there anything else I can take down here? Yeah, like this. We can, uh, we can probably hit a lot of stuff on this page under this one. Maybe this. Let's see if this counts. Because this is the thing that's actually telling... Oh, really? It's, it's soliciting some pretty extra legal services, I guess. Maybe this? Uh, ooh, that's actually five images. Interesting. Mm, maybe this? This is trying to set a, a legal precedence for downloading something. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I, that's enough. I'm gonna try doing this and seeing uh, if we get anything else really sketchy. Hmm, Howard's life tricks. From dispatch. Oh, okay. All right. Let's uh, check that first. Because right now I am I am just sort of wandering like so this janitor program surprise it hasn't been passed around more seeing as it's a source of endless hypno coins seems like a pretty poorly thought out scheme all around good find all right so uh, we can just close the case it's not asking us for anything more um, important message received from dispatch okay that's another one. Great job removing huh. that malicious or unauthorized software. Thank you. I forgot I could pronounce my name. That's very exciting. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see what we got in our inbox. Um, Starport Castle Dream Station. Is this an entirely new page? I thought maybe once we had had the time skip, it would just be kind of revisiting these pages and seeing how the scene changed. But this looks like it's another top level uh, web portal. If you catch a result, normally happens at the rate of somebody's using a download accelerator speed booster to get around merchant soft fans with capping measures. So this is how they know this is software is being used, I guess. Okay. We just need to find one download of it. Nice, nice. Okay. A new zone for all you geeks, nerds, and other citizens with niche interests. Beautiful. That's... This is finally my home. Like, we go back 
to uh, oh, the home page is what I want. Cafe, no, hell no, no, kind of, but Cool Punk is dead, as we are all forced to acknowledge. Uh, no, and definitely no. So this is, uh, I mean, it's not quite my galley. Not quite my cup of tea. Oh! Um, what? Change my password. Um, is that even, that's not like a thing, right? 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 I'm quite certain that we do not have a password. So this is just another kind of plot point, I think, that's going to uh, come up later. Anyways, um, Cogpunk, definitely I don't like that. Gorth vibe, I assume that I don't like that. Fantasy, science fiction, to an extent, but it's more these niche interests in general. Show me anime. What I want is anime. Comic shop, we're getting there. The listed pages appeared in one of the falling zones. They have been relocated here. Oh! So they've just consolidated, like, five niche pages into one mega niche page. Okay, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if, uh... Hmm. Observer... The SI... SAI Freeland. Um... Ah, so this is the issue. People don't like this consolidation, as I also don't. And they're all moving to the SAI Freeland. Okay. So let's. Sovereign Alliance of Imagination. I see. Merger zones. No warning and severely limit our download speeds. Okay. So that's, uh, of course, uh, maybe why they're passing around this acceleration software, which is illegal. Have come together to form a sovereign alliance of imagination. We have decided in unison to delist our pages and form our own zone, free from the control of Merchant Soft. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna send here. Uh, or or set, send here? Go here. But it's, I, I really agree with these people. I think this, uh, this is probably a good move. We just have one, and the person they picked is just a friend of micro Merchant Soft. I almost had a Freudian slip where I called them Microsoft. Hmm. Outside of waking up and emailing or phoning them. <laughs> sure. You know, it's almost in the form of freelance. You can self-moderate and rebuild. Okay. Well, let's go explore the freelance. Wow. Wow. So, they went all out. All, all, all out. This is amazing. This is... Like, how did they do this? Yeah, Chowder Man. Hell yeah, ready to shave. What does that mean? Is it a puberty thing? The lyrics seem very literal. Uh-huh. Amazing. Amazing. What a what a masterpiece they've created. So this is the Sanders homestead down here. Head south. So I guess I just uh Oh I see, I see. Just scroll down. Alright, let's check out their homestead. Ale and well met. Wow. Can I turn this down, or is it just uh, mute or not? Let's see. Oh, how did I? Oh, this is like the stamp spot. I thought this was something to do with. Uh... Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh, fun fantasy, sci-fi, and cyber cog art. In the Sanders verse. Mm hmm. Uh, uh huh. Hmm. Alright. 
So these guys are the founders of this. I think it's quite likely that they could be uh, passing around the acceleration software. Kill screens. <laughs> Kill screens. Those tunes. Sanders verse. Okay. Ready to shave analysis page. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> I would have millions of dollars. Meaning she's heard this hundreds of millions of times. Of course, of course. I listened to this record at least 500 times, at least. <laughs> Shooting gangs, sniffing drugs. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, it's so long, this analysis! Oh, oh, okay. We'll have to remember to come back to this page. We're gonna tag it as, uh... As checkmark. Very important. <laughs> known as a le motif and music theory. It is very complex. This is unreal. Uh, this is so unreal. L like, think about this. The show made up a musician called... Or this show, I'm sorry. This game made up a musician called The Chatterman. They made up album art for The Chatterman. Which is, of course, what album art for someone named The Chatterman would look like. 100%. An album called Mountain Roar. They made up an entire song. Actually made the song. Not just the lyrics, but the entire song. And then had a fictional person completely break down the lyrics of this fictional song. And it's like a joke so elaborate, so high effort, that aspects of it could hardly be called a joke at all. Like, it really feels like someone on this, the team that made this game, genius as all, must genuinely have a soft spot for artists like Chowderman, for lyrics like Ready to Shave. Like, otherwise, how can you do this? How can you do this without something more complex than mere mockery? This is so crazy. Okay, we gotta, we gotta keep diving in. So it, it looks like Jill is clean, maybe. We'll check out uh, Sarah. Gil, I guess? See if, uh... Mm. So she did the, uh, the map art, it looks like. Giant... Chepa the giant... No. <laughs> uh, alright. Mm -hmm. Eat lead. She calls me because she gets obnoxious. Okay, um, maybe, maybe both are, uh, are free of association with this troublesome accelerator program. But there is still much of this realm to explore. We'll keep going east, I guess. This is Casper Air's place. Casper Air Graphics. I guess we'll check it out. This is so cool because it's like we, we got another zone or whatever. The Hypnospace Dreamatorium Starport Castle or whatever. And it's like, oh, okay, it's another one. Like, that's exciting, but it's just another one. And, but no, in fact, it's an entirely different genre of game. 2D Map Explorer. It, it, there really was like a lot of Flash games back in the day that was basically just this. Like, looking for stuff to click navigating through things, buying things and playing mini games as you encounter them. It, Neopets, I guess, is what I'm thinking. This gives me a very deep Neopets vibe. Of course, Neopets was super complex and had all sorts of stuff going on. But uh, there's kind of a similar energy here. And, and there's certainly a lot going on in this game, too. Oh, man. An automotive airbrush artist. So that's why he's Casper Air. Ha! Oh man, this game is kind of overwhelming sometimes. 
Um, could this guy have... Could this be actually, you know, extra legal commerce? I sure hope not. I don't want to mess with this guy. People want crazy things airbrushed onto their cars, and this guy sure seems equipped to give it to them. There's nothing wrong with that. Look, he doesn't even take explicit, gory, or pornographic requests. He's a man above the board. <sighs> Please do not message Casper about... Hi, what? Hi, hmm. That's interesting. Maybe that will come back in the future. I don't think this guy is going to have the acceleration program. I think he thinks an acceleration program would make a car go faster. No offense. Hmm. Proud member of the Sovereign Alliance of the Imagination. Of course. Well, I don't know. I think we'll just keep looking around. The fact that this is, uh, like, harder to navigate, like, it's going to be more difficult to remember where things were and how to get back to them, is quite exciting. It actually feels like the game has gone to a, a new level of difficulty, you know, like a, a normal game. <laughs> um, let's see here. The Observer. Game previews, reviews, and opinions. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely into that. New game reviews every week or so. The Observer. Cat cataclysm. Uh huh. Sometimes biggest first person shoot. Squishers! Sounds like it's gonna be a puzzle game or something. That sounds awesome. Why no Hypnoist games? Hmm. It's the holdup. There's one coming! Outlaw, baby! All it does is put you in a coma for two weeks. <laughs> uh huh. What is this? In? Da, da, da. <laughs> is this kind of like a best of both worlds thing? Popular, but still kind of underground. So it's cool. Mm. What should I check out? These pages are dead so far. Oh, this is just uh, like a logo. I thought this was like an overall navigation thing. Let's check out the Squishers review. Oh, Squishers is like Pokemon? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks like Pokemon. And the Game Champ Portable, of course. It's like Gen 3 Pokemon. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, ah, look, it's Pokemon! Oh, this is so real. This is exactly what video games and reviews were back in the day. Like, the low quality of the screenshots, just this kind of font color choice and background choice. This is exactly, exactly the only type of games journalism that existed in 1999. This and magazines. If it was on the internet, it looks probably something like this. Or you were reading it in a magazine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, that's kind of fun. I mean, this sounds like actually a sweet game. It's it's all about communication and such. It's not just combat. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is this game sounds awesome. Do you think this is like another game that the makers of Hypnospace Outlaw are making or have made? That'd be pretty brilliant if so. You advertise all of your other games as fake games within this game. Uh, that sounds kind of unlikely, though. Like, I don't know. Like, if you were going to go ahead and make a game like this, it wouldn't look quite like this. This is too parodious. This is too unreal and kind of has that same weird nightmarish quality that literally everything in this game has. Uh, where it's so authentic that it's a little... Uh, haunting or eerie, and yet it always has those humorous twists that make it kind of nightmarish. I don't think this is a real game, but that's even crazier that they just made up this game and, and came up with all of these aspects of it, all of these fake screenshots. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh. Where are the games? Virtual pets. I want a virtual pet. 
Good to know this year 2000 update. I think that's something that we will experience too. Maybe he's referring here to his masterpiece title, Outlaw. Huh, okay, so so far it's still dead ends. Um, I'm going to plunge back into this map and see if we can find anywhere offering that nefarious acceleration software. And that will come in the next episode, so please join me then. Uh, I'm happy to be playing this game again after so long. I don't know, I just wasn't playing it. But it's a very, very cool game. And uh, <clears throat> I hope you think so too. Uh, I hope I haven't been too rusty with it. I hope I haven't been overlooking obvious things to do, but uh, I, I, I don't know. We'll just see what we can see. Okay, bye-bye for now.